Most of you wake up and you try to make money. Listen to me, if you would make you, money would come to you. Okay, you missed that whole thing I just said. If you would make you a better person, you'd make more money. Now, watch what I do. The way people spend their money or treat their money is how I treat my time. All right, let me explain what I mean to you. I make sure that every single day in that 24 hour period, that I'm getting a whole bunch of wins. So I'm supposed to be doing this at this time, doing this at this time, doing this at this time, doing this at this time. The problem with most of you, you waking up and you worshiping money. Man, I was in the back with Cole. Cole was like, E, I got this opportunity for you. I got this opportunity. I got this opportunity. When you become number one, you have to chase opportunities. So I became number one, not meaning I'm better than nobody else. It means I just mastered my craft to the point that I know what I do that don't nobody else do. I know that I have a way of doing in this industry what nobody else does, and I've picked out in this industry, I've crafted out my own room. And your problem is, you at 50% knocking on doors trying to get the result, somebody at 100%. And you wondering why it ain't working, because while you're doing what they're doing, you're not who they are. So why do I put more emphasis on time than I put on money? Because they print money. They don't print time. So I'm going to say it one more time. You are worshiping the thing that they make every day. They don't make time every day. Ain't nobody print time. I ain't, I ain't met them yet. I ain't met no billionaire. I ain't met no trillionaire. I ain't met no institution. I ain't met no company. I ain't met nobody print money. So why are you spending more time on the thing they print every day than the thing, you know why? Because you're not developed and you're following other people. When you understand that the real thing is time and you ain't got a lot of it, you start focusing on your time and when you get your time right, money will come. Some people go to Dubai once every 10 years. I'm going every other month. Why? When you master yourself, you put yourself in a position that a lot of people can't do what you do and then you become rare and diamonds are rare. That's why they cost so much. If you would become rare, you just like everybody else. You look just like that, you act just like, you just like everybody else. When you become you and you become rare, you become a... When you leave this room, you will take full ownership. And the reason why I say it's my fault, even when it's not my fault, because when I say it's your fault, I give you power. I give you control over my life. And I will never give another human control over my life. It's my fault. It's my problem. I'm coming up with a solution for it. Stop being average. Average people can't forgive. Average people can't let go. The greats, we do whatever it takes. Those who have a why, can bear almost any high. How did I become number one in the world? Found out my wife had multiple sclerosis. They told my wife, listen to me y'all, my wife's so be small. They told my wife she had MS and she's like, man. Then they told her she had to quit her job and she, a tear came out of her. The doctor said, you don't have insurance? And she said, yeah, I got insurance. She looked at her like, why are you crying if you got insurance? My wife's identity is in her waking up and working every day. She went to school to be a registered nurse. She went to school to do breast and cervical cancer. She didn't want to be at home. She didn't want to be no home wife. She literally went to school to be a nurse. She loves her job. But when they told her she had to quit, my wife was like, I don't know what I'm going to do. I said, how much you make? She told me 5,000. I said, 5,000 times 12, so I'm a 60 times 30 years, I'm a 1.8 million. I woke up every day hunting 1.8 1, 1, 1. million. I'm number one in the world, not because I'm a better speaker. I'm not number one in the world because I, I look the best, because I dress the best. I'm not number one because my, my, my enunciation is the best, because I use the best words, because I got the best sentence structure, because I come from the best background. I, got, I, made, I became number one because I woke up and I hunted down the 1.8 mil so my wife would never have to work again. If you waking up every day and you want a Rolls Royce, you ain't about to beat me. If you waking up for a Bentley, you ain't about to beat me. If you waking up for a gold chain, you ain't about to beat me. If you woke up for a Rolly, you ain't about to beat me because you're going after material stuff. I'm going after my food. I'm going after my baby. I'm going after my high school sweetheart. 
I'm going after my kids so they can see their mom and their mama don't die. I'm making sure their mama don't get in a wheelchair if I can help it. If their mama don't lose her sight if I can help it. If her mama don't lose her memory. If I start studying MS like I had. I start studying MS. Your problem is you're not studying this product like it, like your life out on it. Like your life depend on it. You playing with this product. You know what? You like the people that work for me that want to check and they never end up getting it. But the people who own, who work for my company act like they own it. Wake up every single day making sure she don't have to go back to work. So watch this. I started studying and I found out two things. One is stress. So I had to take her out of a stressful situation. And then the other thing was vitamin D. And I literally, people say, bro, why you move to Southern California? Because my wife got it, man. I literally type what's the best place in the world for vitamin D? Southern California. What's the best temperature in the world in the United States of America? San Diego, California. It don't never, it don't go 99, 100, and then back down, it's right there. I said, San Diego, I'm hunting down. You're moving to San Diego, why? I don't care about San Diego, my why, my wife. And the first year, last year, we were in San Diego. My wife said to me, when we went back to Michigan, when the summer came, my wife said, you know something? I said, what? She said, I never took a nap in California. I said, what you mean by that? She said, the sun energized me and I never needed to take a nap. You're gonna come after me. The reason why most of you can't do what you do, you can keep getting knocked down and you keep quitting because whatever your why is, it ain't stronger than the beat down you take. Whatever the beat down, whatever life is throwing at you, whatever punches is blowing, you, whatever's happening, it ain't that, it ain't deep enough for you to wake up. Like you're getting punched and you feel that pain and you like, ain't no need to get up. No, and I feel you. You need to stay down, because life gonna beat you. You talking about making millions? Life gonna beat you down. You talking about making millions, multi-millions, billions? Life gonna beat you down. So, so when you feel the pain and you get knocked down, stay down. If you got a why that's deeper than your pain, every trial, every trouble, I will my way through it. I don't care if it's cancer, I will my way through it. I don't care if it's MS, I will my way through it. I don't care if I'm struggling in school and I'm trying to get a degree, I will my way through it. I don't care if you fail the boards, go again. I don't care if you fail the law exam, go again, will your way through it. Some things you can skill yourself through, some stuff you gotta will your way through. Without a vision, there's no direction. Without direction, there's no progress. Reason why you're struggling getting up because you don't have nothing to get up for.